there welcome back to dirty shoes adventures i'm brandon and i am doing a little mini series or whatever you want to call it of uh the gig economy and like doordash and uber eats and things such as that so if that sounds interesting to you and you'd like to learn a little bit about it be sure to uh hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell icon so you will be notified of the next videos. Now, on to today's thoughts or points or whatever you want to call it. A lot of people may have the misconception that this is uh, for kids, you know, younger folks. And it, it is, but if you're able to walk and talk, then you can do this. And you don't, well, yeah, I think so. You don't necessarily have to be able to walk, but yeah, you really do, unfortunately. Not for picking up orders, but for delivering, because there are certain times where you go to an apartment complex and your delivery may be on the second or third floor. And you've got to be able to go up them stairs. Other than that, anybody can do this. And I am 56 years old. Not young, not ancient either. I'm just getting older. <laughs> so I think the requirements are, I think you have to be 18. I think the minimum age is like 18. And uh, other than that, there's no physical requirements. You just need to be able to go up and down stairs if, if you have to. Now, if you watch your orders real close and you're real familiar with your area and the addresses, you may can uh, just not take those orders because you can decline orders. We'll discuss that later. But anyway, this I'm just going to make these short and kind of to the point. That way we're not wasting no time and we can move on to do other things and work and adventures and fishing and watching birds and buses and whatever is in the area now one more thing as you saw at the beginning i started the day off at the car wash and while that is not a requirement the way i look at it is if i look out if i order food and i look out my window and i see a driver come pulling up in a car that looks like it's been sitting out in the middle of a wheat pasture for a year. And I'm going to be like, man, I don't really want to touch this food. Because imagine going to a restaurant and somebody with uh, grease all over them or, or uh, just dirty looking, scungy looking clothes. Now, I, I know there's jobs that require that, and this can be done as a part-time job or part-time gig, whatever you want to call it, after your full-time job. But if you have a job that does require you to uh, get dirty, then bring an extra set of clothes or run by the house and take a shower if you can. Clean up a little bit and have a little respect for yourself and make a good impression. I'm not saying that's going to get you a big tip or anything, but it's going to make those people a little more comfortable eating the food that you've been handling. So, and that's kind of the way I look at the car. You know, wash your car. It don't take but a minute and you can either most places have the drive through car washes now. It can get expensive after a while, so I'm not saying keep it spotless, but keep it decent. Just put yourself in the customer's shoes. 
and think about what you would expect from your food delivery person.